Hi there, hello kiddos, how are you? This is Awaz from Target Education. I'm excited to announce that from now on, we're going to have our elaborate course for those who, who are willing to learn speaking skills and who are confused. Confused, I mean, am I ever going to be able to speak? So, I mean, if you are the one who is just starting elementary level or the one who is somewhere near the, the end of your beginner level, then this course is definitely for you. You're welcome to join us. What you will do, okay, let me just be more specific about the course itself. That includes 36 lessons, and each and every single lesson has a distinctive approach for speaking. And why this course is useful, and why do you think that makes it different from other ones that are available online? Okay, let me, let me tell you a secret. I mean, this, been, this has been tested and proven and it showed a n over 90% success result, success rate. That means you can be one of them. So just as an elementary student, by the end of this course, you'll be able to handle daily conversation with no effort at all. And you'll be able to just talk to any foreigner who speaks English without any hesitation, unhesitantly and confidently. This is a big plus. You go to a foreign country, you can ask for directions, you go to the, you talk to a shop assistant, you can just simply explain your needs. It, it is no problem for you. Put all those emotions aside and join us. If you're an elementary one, I'm telling you once again, this is exactly for you. You're welcome to join us. And I'm going to be your personal individual teacher and I'll be helping you all the way through. Whatever questions you may have or difficulties or hesitations, I'm here to help you out. So this is me actually testing that distinctive approach and this is me showing it a real result. You know what? And yeah, don't get me wrong, it this course does have a grammar point, grammar rules. But what makes it different is this is not going to be just typical grammar where you learn a lot of stuff but you will not be able to speak. But this is more like a speaking oriented grammar where you will learn a grammar in a very un unconventional way unorthodox way and you'll be able to put them into practice. That's Assalamu alaikum. Biz man avas target education nam man. Sizlarga shu narsa ma'lum qilmoqchi edimki, biz bugundan boshlab 36 soatdan iborat yangi kursimiz e'lon qilmoqchimiz. Bu speaking kursi hisoblanadi. Ya'ni speaking boshqa speaking kurslardan farqi nimada? Bu juda ham boshqacha approach, ya'ni boshqacha podxod bor. Bunda speakingga o'sha 36 ta dars ichida hayotga bog'liq shunaqa hodisalardan iborat bo'lgan har xil mavzular tuzilgan va bu albatta siz bu sinab ko'rilgan, juda ham ko'p katta auditoriyada sinab ko'rilgan va 80-90% odam o'sha narsaga kerakli natijaga erishgan. O'sha 36 ta darsdan iborat kursimizni o'taganingizda siz speakingiz ancha kuchayib ketadi, confident bo'lasiz, ya'ni o'ziga ishonib, xohlagancha muloqot qilishingiz mumkin bo'ladi. Chet eldanmi yoki English speaking countrydan kim bir kelib qolsa, siz o'zingiz bemalol bayon qila olasiz. Hech qanaqa qiyinchiliksiz va albatta bu hamma uchun emas. Agar siz elementary level sizda hozir bo'lsa, siz bu kurs kuchi bu kursga qo'shilishingiz mumkin, boshlashingiz mumkin. Agar beginner level va oxirlarga yetib qolgan bo'lsangiz ham, siz bemalol bu kursni boshlashingiz mumkin. So, as I forgot to mention earlier, by the end of this course, you'll be enabled to handle all the street conversations easily. So you can ask for directions, you can give directions. So whenever you talk to an English speaking person, you're not going to have any difficulties explaining what you want to explain. So that means it's going to enable, it's going to just open up a lot of doors for you. The speaking course, what makes it different is, as I did forget, forget to mention, what, the, what makes the speaking course different from others is that this has a 36 consecutive lessons which has been a which has been humane proven and it showed a 90% result uh, among all those students who had this course who learned this course so I'm pretty sure that you guys are going to enjoy it so without further ado let's get right into the lesson shunaqqa biz birinchi darsimizdan boshlaymiz birinchi darsimizdan nomi let's next to our uh, let's get to our next slide introduce yourself ya'ni o'zini tanishtirish so, I think it's the first lesson for each and every single level. introducing yourself to Okay, let's get to our next slide now. Here's a lesson breakdown. 
Here's what you're going to learn throughout the course, throughout the first lesson. First, you practice the dialogue between your famous, famous and funny characters, Kevin and Dorothy, out loud, and I'm going to be helping you with the translation. Second, what you do is you will learn the context vocabulary and you will practice it. So it's going to take up to 15 minutes. And then I'm pretty sure you will be tired by the end of this, by the end of this two sections. That means I mean, you're going to have time to watch a fun video, which takes up to seven minutes. And then once you're done, relaxing, sitting back, now it's time for the real challenge, which is grammar. But don't get me wrong, our grammar is totally different. It's, going to, it's a lot easier than most of the grammar rules, most of the grammar books you might have ever encountered. So it's going to be simply to be. And next what we'll do is, we will learn the vocabulary as well, related to the grammar to be. And then... Now it's time for the exercise, right? Now it's time to sharpen up your mind and do some exercise, see what you got. So that's going to be a kind of a speaking stylish exercise. So you're not just going to be writing all over the paper, but you will have to speak. You will at least record your audio on our special channel that I'm going to announce later so I can hear you and so I can assist you. And at the end of the course, you're going to get assigned your homework. So this is what you will do. Buz nash buz dars tanimal qilishimiz. Biz bizda Kevin va Dorothy degan qahramon bo'ladi bugundan boshlab. Ular o'rtasida dialog bo'ladi. O'sha dialog sizlarga juda ham tool, ya'ni sizlarga qurol sifatida xizmat qiladi speakingingizdan chiqarishga. Buni biz baland ovozda o'qiymiz. Men o'qib beraman birinchi, keyin sizlar praktika qilasizlar. Birinchi Kevin bo'lib o'qigan odam, agar partner bo'lmasa, keyin Dorothy bo'lib o'qiydi. Partner bo'lsa, kimdir Dorothy, kimdir Kevin, keyin kimdir Dorothy, kimdir Kevin. Uh, learning the context vocabulary. Bu dialogda tushunmagan so'zlarimiz albatta kelib chiqadi va o'sha dialog, bu dialog introducing yourself bo'lgan uchun ham unga tegishli vocabulary-ni keyingi qismida o'rganib chiqamiz. Men pronunciation, talaffuz bo'yicha yordam beraman va and translation of course. And watch a fun video. Azgina charchab toliqqanimizdan keyin bu ikkita qismda biz video ko'ramiz. Bu video ham introducing yourself ga juda ham bog'liq bo'ladi. Bu bizda 7 minutcha vaqt oladi. Grammar to be. Videoni ko'rdik. Kuchig'i oldi yetarlicha. Endi albatta, grammar kimlardir qiyin ortiqcha degani bilan grammar it's our back pocket, ya'ni orqa cho'nta vazifasini o'taydi. Grammar baribir bizga qanaqadir mustahkamlashga yordam beradi. Speechimizni bo'lmasa ham biz sal ill confident bo'lib qolamiz, ya'ni to'liq o'zimizga ishonib gapira olmaymiz grammar bo'lmasa. To be ni o'rganamiz. Learning the vocabulary keyin yana bizda 10 ta oshiq so'zlar vocabularysi bo'ladi. Bu 15 minutcha vaqt oladi. Vocabulary-dan keyin albatta hech qaysi dars sizlar sinab ko'rmasdan qo'yib yuboraman. Exercise-lar bilan davom etadi. Exercise-lar 7 dan 10 daqiqacha. Ya, exercise-larning farqi nimada? Sizlar shunchaki qog'ozga ruchkada yozib o'tirmaysizlar, balki speaking, ya'ni gapirasizlar. Har birta qilingan exercise-da gapirish qatnashishi kerak. Shuto, men o'zim uchun ishonchim komil bo'lish kerak sizlar yaxshi o'rganganingizga. Keyin oxirida homework bo'ladi. Homework ham xuddi shunaqa. O'sha biz kanal, agar sizlar hozir ko'rayotgan bo'lsangiz, videoni kanal mavjud. Telegramda kanal bo'ladi. O'sha kanalda homeworklar ilani, speaking, audio zapis, audio qilib yozib, menga jo'nat tasalla, men baho berib boshlayman. Okay, let's get to our next slide. So here's the dialogue. In this lesson, your tutor, which is me, will help you go over this topic. Introduce yourself first. Read the following dialogue out loud with your tutor, then then switch roles and try again. Bo'lmasam, dialogimizni boshlaymiz. Har bitta so'zni talaffuz qilishimga e'tibor qaratinglar. Okay, let's get to our dialogue now. So, here's what Kevin will do. Kevin introduces himself to Dorothy. Kevin meets Dorothy. Kevin. Hi, my name is Kevin. I'm your neighbor from across the street. Hi Kevin, my name is Dorothy. It is good to meet you. Kevin. I know that you are new to the area, so I wanted to introduce myself. Thank you. I just moved here from LA for a new job. How long have you been here? Next slide. Okay guys, so I'm not actually pointing out with my hand because I'm pretty sure that it might darken some of the stuff, so it, it might shade some of the letters, so you might not be able to read it. I have lived here for two years now. I work down the street at the university. Are you a professor? No, I'm a lawyer. What do you do? I'm a guidance counselor. 
Let me know if you need any help with your move. Thanks so much. It's nice to make a new friend. Uh, previous slide, slide please. Okay. Mana bitta narsa yetib bor qarachingizlar holiman. Har bitta o'qigan so'zimda xuddi menga o'xshab o'qishga harakat qilib o'ringlar. So we were on the same page. Shunda hech qanaqangi adashish bo'lmaydi, aksent bo'yicha ham muammo bo'lmaydi. Kenchalik vaqtingizni ketkizib o'tirmaysizlar. Ha, endi bo'ldi, men aksentimni to'g'rilashim kerak degan narsaga. Hozirdan are you a professor desam, professor deb talaffuz qilishga harakat qilinglar o'xshaguncha. 5 marta, 6 marta. Now it's time for you guys to practice the dialogue yourself. So let's do it by yourselves now. Zas endi bu narsalar dialogga o'zingiz, agar partneringiz bo'lmasa yoki partneringiz yonida bo'lsa yoki qanaqadir bog'lanish ilojisi bo'lsa, o'qib boshlaymiz. Birinchi Kevin bo'lasizlar, keyin Dorsey rolga kirishingizni juda ham xohlayman. Shundagina haqiqiy rezultat bo'ladi, natija bo'ladi. Dorsey bo'lganingizda sal Dorseyga o'xshab, Kevin bo'lganda Kevin bo'lib. Okay, you guys have now 2 minutes. Okay guys, I hope you guys enjoyed the dialogue because it's such an exciting dialogue itself. I mean, I'll I'll be pumped to be in your position now. You know what? The dialogue itself is crazy. I mean, you will enjoy every single sentence. So, now it's time for the vocabulary. I'm pretty sure there were some words you didn't understand and you are tempted to ask me. But don't get me wrong. Don't rush into uh don't rush into any questions yet. So, we do have a vocabulary list for you prepared. So, vocabulary. Go over the following vocabulary and expressions with your tutor. Read the word expression and definition out loud and your tutor will go over anything you don't understand. Practice creating a sentence or two to make sure you know how to use the word expression properly. In the biz, men ishonchim komil dialogda tushunmagan bir ikkita sizlarda so'zlar chiqqan va endigina so'ramoqchi sizlar, hali shoshilmaymiz. Mana o'sha so'zlarni listiga biz yetib keldik. Please next slide. Okay. Vocabulary and expressions. So here's our first expression which is across the street on the other side of the street across the street degani yo'lni u tarafda degan ma'noni aytadi mana bu yerda definition ko'rsatilgan sizlarga definition bilasizlar izoh degani okay across the street mana pastida transkriptsiya bor o'qish agar meni talaffuzim bab eshitganingizda qaytarishga harakat qilasizlar-yu mabodo across the street tagiga yozilgan va example berilgan i live right across the street from a park Sizlar bu so'z tarjimasini bildinglar, bilmaganlarga men shundagina parkdan yo'lni u tarafida yashayman. Mana shu yo'lni u tarafida park bor demoqchi. I live right across the street from a park. Sizlar example tuziladiganimda, park o'rniga I live right across the street from a pharmacy or I go to school right across the street from a park. Xohlagancha o'zgartirishingiz mumkin, examplardan foydalanib. Ikkinchi so'zimiz. It's good to meet you. Hi, it's good to meet you. A way to say 
You're happy to meet someone. Tanishganimdan xursandman. Ko'rishganimdan, uchrashganimdan xursandman degan. Uchta definitsiyani ham o'tiradi. It's good to meet you. I have heard a lot about you. Tanishganimdan xursandman. Sen haqingda ko'p eshitgandim. Xuddi shunga o'xshab. Keyingisi new to the area. Just moved to the area. Yangi ko'chib kelganimizda biron joyga new to the area deymiz. Well, I am new to the area. I am new to Tashkent. Yoki men Tashkentga yangiman. It can be hard being new to an area. Va examplemizdan nima degan? Yangi joyga ko'chib kelish azgina qiyinchilik tug'dirishi mumkin. Yoki biron joyda yangi o'zini his qilish azgina qiyinchilik tug'dirishi mumkin demoqchi. Ya'ni moslashib olguncha. Oxirgi so'z introduce myself o'zimni tanishtiraman degani Allow me to introduce myself to you. O'zimni senga tanishtirishga ruxsat et deydimi? Ijozat bering deydimi? O'sha narsada introduce myself, znaczy introduce bu o'zini tanishtirish. Yoki mana definitsiyada yozib qo'ygan tell you about myself for first time. Znaczy what what is across the street mean? Deb qachondir so'ralsa, bizda shunaqa bo'lish kerakki, well it means it's on the other side of the street bo'lish kerak. Translation dan, ya'ni tarjimadan foydalanmaslikka harakat qilishimiz kerak. Okay, next slide please. Now, down the street, down the street, on the same street. Shu ko'chani bo'yida, shu ko'chani betida yoki shu ko'cha ta, shu ko'chada deganda biz down the street degan iborani ishlatamiz. The grocery store is just down the street. Oziq-ovqat do'koni yo'l yuzida. O'sha paytda mana down the street. The grocery store is just down the street. Okay, professor, professor degani nima ekan? Universitetdagi o'qituvchini amerikaliklar Yoki ingrizli, English speaking guys, they just call him a professor. Shunchaki o'qituvchi bo'lsa, professor deyishadi universitetda. Aynan professor title-ini hold qilish shart emas. Ya'ni professor statusunda bo'lish shart emas. Universitet dars bersa, u professor. Okay, he's a professor at a large university. U kattagina universitetda professor bo'lib ishlaydi, yoki professor. Guidance counselor, person who gives guidance to students. Okay, Amerikan maktablarida guidance counselor degan bitta titul bor, status bor. U odam nima qiladi? O'quvchilarga kasb tanlashga yordam beradi. Axloqi, odobi, shu narsalar bilan shug'ullanadi yoki agar o'quvchilar college, lyceum shu undan katta maktabdan katta yoki maktabini ko'chirmoqchi bo'lsa, u odam o'sha hujjatlar boshqa yerga yetkazishlar bilan shug'ullanadi. I think in our culture this person responsible for guiding students is bizda shu ish qiladigan odam direktor o'rinbosari, zam direktor. Okay. So you got it. He's the best guidance counselor at the school. Значит, o maktabimizdagi juda ham zo'r direktor o'rinbosari. Amerikada aynan direktor o'rinbosari u ish qilmaydi, guidance counselor degan bitta position bor, ya'ni lavozim bor ularning maktabida. Okay, lawyer. Lawyer. Yurist deysiz mumkin, huquqshunos, advokat, uchalasi ham ketadi. Person who works with the law. Qonun bilan ishlaydigan odam deb definition berib qo'ygan bo'lay ham, ya'ni uch xil holatda ham ishlatilishi mumkin. Yurist, prokuror, sorry prokuror, prosecutor, jurist, advokat va huquqshunos. Okay, you should hire a lawyer if you need legal help. Senga qonuniy yordam kerak bo'lsa, sen o'zingga jurist yollashing kerak. You should hire a lawyer if you need any legal help. Thanks so much. Buni hammamiz bilamiz. Bu darsdan oldin ham katta rahmat degani. Yoki juda katta rahmat. Another way to say thank you yoki bular definition bo'yicha shunchaki thank you ning o'rniga sal jarangdorroq. Thanks so much. Thanks so much for your help. Yordami uchun rahmat. Last but not least, make a new friend. Ya'ni yangi do'st orttirish. To start a new friendship. I like going to parties because I like making new friends. I like going to parties because I like making new friends. Ziyofatlarga borib shaxs ko'raman, chunki yangi do'stlar orttirishni yoqtiraman. Okay. Let's get to our next slide. Okay. Before the video, actually, uh, no, 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 not yet. Okay, before we play the video, what we do is I'm going to give you guys some time like as as shown about uh, five minutes so you can make up to 10 to 15 minutes, I guess, to be exact. So you will have to make sentences, two sentences for each and every word for across the street, for down the street, what you've learned. Har bitta tuzgan, hozirgi har bitta tushuntirilgan so'zlarga endi ikkitadan gap tuzamiz. And I'll get back, I'll get back to you soon. Okay? And send it to the channel va kanalga jo'natib boshlaymiz. Okay? Clock is ticking. Okay guys, hats off to you guys. Out of boys. So I've seen I've seen the sentences you made. Those are exciting, those are incredible, but there is a lot to work on though. But no worries. Now it's time for our fun video 
that you might be expecting, that you might be waiting for. So you're gonna enjoy the video, it's gonna take up to seven minutes. That means you're gonna have a lot of time to cool down, sit back and relax. Mana gaplar ila example la hamas yaxshi chiqqan. No, hozgina birinchi darsimiz bo'lgan uchun ham ishlaydigan narsalar bor. Biz hali kurs davomida ishlab hammasini tuzatamiz. Mana hozir biz videoyimizga ham navbat keldi. Videoni ko'rganingizdan keyin mana video 5-7 minut vaqtda davomida bo'ladi. Hozgina dam olish ila mumkin. Videoni ko'rish mobaynida video introducing yourself hozirgi dialogimizga juda ham bog'liq. Right after the video we're going to get back to the dialogue again and we're going to translate each and every single part of the dialogue one at a time. Video ko'rib bo'lganimizdan keyin dialogga bitta qaytib tezda tarjima qilib beraman dialogga o'zini. Okay? Let's go. Nice to meet you. Welcome to the neighborhood. Thank you. I'm John, your neighbor next door. It's nice to meet you, John. I'm Alex. This is my wife Emma, and these are my children. I'm very pleased to meet you all. We're having a barbecue on Saturday, and we thought you might like to come. Lots of the neighbors will be there. I think it will be fun for you to meet them. Thank you for the invitation. That's very nice of you. We would love to come. What can we bring? Oh, you don't need to bring anything. Don't worry about that. I have to go now. If you need anything, you can drop by our house anytime. Okay. Thanks a lot. Have a nice day. You too. Bye. 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 Are you nervous about tomorrow, Julia? Yes, I am. I don't know anyone. I will feel so alone and so strange. What if nobody will like me? That's not going to happen. You are such a kind and intelligent girl. I'm sure you'll make friends very quickly. Good morning, class. Good, good morning, morning, Mrs. Stewart. Stewart. It's so good to see you all again. I hope your summer holiday was great. I would like you to meet your new classmate, Julia Alberts. Hello everyone. Nice to meet you. Please tell us where you're from and how old you are. I come from the UK. I was born in a small town called Bakewell. We moved here two weeks ago. I'm 12 years old. And I would love to be able to make lots of friends at this school. Welcome to our school, Julia. We hope you will feel great here with us. Look, there is a free seat by the window. You can sit there. Thank you. Do you mind if I sit here? No, I don't mind. Please have a seat. Thanks. I'm Michelle. We are in the same class. Nice to meet you, Michelle. Nice to meet you too. So you are British. That is so cool. You must miss your country and your friends very much. Oh yes, I do indeed. Though I have only been living here for two weeks. Come and sit here with us, guys. This is May and this is Brian. They are our classmates, too. Nice to meet you, Julia. Nice to meet you, too. Where are you from, May? Your name sounds Asian. I'm from China. So you are Chinese. I am half Chinese and half American. You see, my mom's from China and my dad's from the USA. Really? How long have you been living here? I have been living here for five years. 
So how do you like it here? I like it very much because I have lots of friends and relatives. Do you have any siblings, Julia? Yes, I've got an older brother. He's fourteen and he attends this school too. What is your favorite subject? It's science. But I also like PE. By the way, I would like to join a swimming club. Do you know where it is? I do. I'm in the school swimming team. You can come with me after classes. Great. Thanks. Do you live far from school? No, my home is just a 15-minute walk from school. It's on Belfort Street. What a coincidence! I live there too. We can meet later after school, and I'll show you around. That's a gorgeous idea. I would love to. Welcome to our home. I'm glad you could make it. Please meet my wife Kate and my daughters. Kate, these are our new neighbors, Alex, his wife Emma, and their lovely children. Hello. It's a pleasure to meet you. Hello. It's a pleasure to meet you too. Hi, I'm Emma. Hi. It's really nice to meet you. So how are you settling in? Fine. Thanks. We simply love this neighborhood. I can give you some tips on places to go and things to do in this area. That would be lovely. Thank you. Where are you from? We're from the UK. Wow, that's so nice. Julia and I have already met each other at school. Can you believe you are classmates? That's such a pleasant surprise. Okay, I'd like now to introduce you to the other neighbors. Come and meet them. Okay, guys. Well, what we did, we practiced the dialogue out loud. I helped you with the translation. You trying to master the pronunciation. We watched a fun video which related right to that, and you practiced the vocabulary list. So that means there is nothing that that is unfamiliar to you now, right? So it's time for the translation. It's just a quick help for you guys. In the manner, vocabulary na kaldik har bitta soz qogani yozdik, praktika kaldik talafuzuna organik dialogke. Unga bog'liq video ko'rdik. Endi men qisqacha tarjima qilib berib ketaman. Kevin, hi, my name is Kevin. I'm your neighbor from across the street. Sal tezroq qishga harakat qilaman. Salom, men ismim Kevin. Men yo'l u betidagi qo'shniman. Hi Kevin, my name is Dorothy. It's good to meet you. Kevin, yaxshimisan? Men ismim Dorothy. Ko'rish tanishgandan xursandman. I know that you are new to the area, so I wanted to introduce myself. Men bilaman, sen bu joylarga bu joylarga yangisan. Shuning uchun ham men o'zimni tanishtirmoqchi bo'ldim. Thank you. I just moved here from LA for a new job. How long have you been here? LA nima deb hayron qolayotgandir sizlar. It's Los Angeles. Bu Los Angeles Amerikadagi shahri. Okay. Rahmat. Men yaqindagina bu yoqqa ko'chib keldim Los Angelesdan yangi ish uchun. How long have you been here? Sen qanchadan buron bu yerdasan? Yoki qanchadan buron yashaysan? Next slide. I've lived here for two years now. I work down the street at the university. Men bu yerda kilo bir yashayman. Men shunda ko'chani bu bo'yidagi universitetda ishlayman. Are you a professor? Sen professormisan? Kevin. No, I'm a lawyer. What do you do? Yo, man, huquqshunosman, yuristman. Asan nima qilasan? I'm a guidance counselor. Sizmi? O'sha maktabda maktab o'rinbosari deymizmi yoki guidance counselor deb eslab qolsangiz bo'ladi. Guidance counselorman. Let me know if you need any help with your move. Kevin et o'tohirda. Menga et, agar qanaqadir yordam kerak bo'lsa, ko'chishga bog'liq. Dorisi. Thanks so much. It's nice to make a new friend. Rahmat, kattakon. Yangi do'st orttirish qancha yaxshi. Okay. So, now it's the end of our dialogue. We've mastered the dialogue right here. Now let's get to that slide after the video, okay? Let's go. Yeah, no, no. Go. Yeah, next one. This one, yeah. Okay. As I promised, as we agreed, after the video, after everything, now it's time for the grammar. 
but a tough grammar. Don't get me wrong, it's not going to be tough enough. It's going to be kind of simple and it is explained in a very relaxing way. Bu znaç judayam qiyin slowlagan grammar bo'lmaydi. To be mavzusida bo'ladi bu grammar, lekin bitta qiziq taraf shuki, hozir biz buni to be tushun explanation dan oldin, tushuntirishdan oldin men so'zlarni aytaman, sizlar qaytarasizlar orqamdan. Okay? So let's go. I'm cool. She's friendly. We are her sisters. I am not a baby. I was stupid. We were busy yesterday. She was not happy. He was my best friend. Are you Ashley's sister? Is she smart? I'm smart. He's shy. My friend is funny. Kenny is a dancer. They're close friends. Qaytarib chiqdiladi deb o'ylayman orqamdan. Yana bir marta. I am cool. She is friendly. We are her sisters. I am not a baby. I was stupid. We were busy yesterday. She was not happy. He was my best friend. Are you Ashley's sister? Is she smart? I am smart. He is shy. My friend is funny. Kenny is a dancer. <coughs> Sorry guys. They are close friends. Bu qaytarib chiqqanimizdan keyin endi azgina explanationga tushuntirishga o'tamiz. Next slide please. Okay, grammar points, grammar notes. Here are some grammar tips. How to describe a person, an object. Biror narsani yoki kishini qanaqa tasvirlaymiz? Bizga bu struktura yordam beradi. B plus adjective. B plus noun. So B ga, dash B ga agar biz sifat qo'shadigan bo'lsak, narsa ta'sirlanadi, noun qo'shsak ham, narsa yoki bu sifatini ko'rsatadi, to'g'ris. Adjective, noun o'sha narsa nimaligini ko'rsatadi. Biror narsa nimaligini ta'sirlashi uchun ham to be va qanaqaligini ta'sirlashi uchun ham to be. Mana endi ko'rib chiqamiz, be qanaqa bo'ladi har bir holat uchun, ya'ni i uchun, man uchun qanaqa, ingliz tilida xuddi shunaqa, i, he, she, ular hammasi uchun har xil o'zini holati bor. A o'zbek tilida masalan, men o'quvchiman deb ketaveramiz, lekin ingliz tilida bu sal boshqacharoq bo'ladi. Okay, I am happy. Mana happy degan sifat olingan bu yerda, ya'ni baxtli. I am happy. You are happy. He, she is happy. We are happy. They are happy. Men, sen, u Ular biz baxtlimiz demoqchi. Demak, mana qara, agar I, you, he, she, we, they degan so'zlar bilan tanish bo'lsanglar, undan keyingi qizil narsa bu o'sha be ni shakli. I happy deb yomaymiz. Shuning uchun ham am, I am happy. Mana mana shu qizil so'zlar sizlarga yordam beradi. Bundan keyin nimandir sifatini, nimaligini, kimligini tasvirlamoqchi bo'lsanglar. Past. Endi o'sha narsa bo'lgan bo'lsa-chi, men baxtli edim demoqchi bo'lsa-chi. I was happy, you were happy, he, she was happy, we were happy, they were happy. Sanish men baxtli edim. Qizil so'zlarga yana e'tibor qaratamiz. Sanish bu qachonki biz oldin o'sha baxtli bo'lganingiz yoki nimani tasvirlamoqchi bo'lsak. Hozirgi holat uchun I am, oldingi holat uchun was. Endi agar baxtli emasman bo'lsa, shunchaki not qo'shib qo'yish kifoya. I am not happy. You are not happy. He she is not happy. We're not happy. They are not happy. Okay guys, thank you. Next to our slide. Okay, now it's time for the vocabulary. Endi biz vocabulary-ga e'tiborimizni qaratamiz. Okay, one second. Let's go, go back to the next uh, first slide. You guys have up to 1 to 2 minutes to have a look at the whole structure. And anything you may not understand, you may just write me in chat. Bu narsaga qarashga 2 minut vaqt. Sizlar yana qarab chiqinglar. Mana aytganimdek, znach to be biron kishini yoki nimandir sifatini tasvirlash uchun foydalaniladi. Bu be ni o'zini shakllari bor. Men, sen, u, ular har biriga va u o'tmishda qo'llangan I was, you were happy. Hozircha biz shu qismini o'rgansak, yetarli yana bir qarab chiqinglar. Okay, thank you. Next slide. Okay, now vocabulary. Endi bizda birikta vocabulary bor. Tepada biz mashq qilgan narsamizni Shu yangi so'zlar chiqqan, o'sha narsalarni endi sizlarga tushuntirib ketaman. Cool. Cool. Bu tash zamonaviy, zo'r yoki tinch degan ma'noni ham anglatadi. You look cool in those jeans. You look cool in those jeans. 
bu cinsiyle de cüdeyem zamanevi korunarken sen, zor korunarken sen de yani. Tired. Tired. Bu çerçe geldi yani. Talıkken. Feeling a need to rest or sleep. I was really tired after a long trip. Uzak sayıqatdan ki, mən cüdeyem talıqdım. Busy. Band de yani. Are you busy? Can I talk to you for a minute? Sen band mı sen? Bir minit ki sen bilen gəpləşsən bu olaydı mı? Next one. Sleepy. Sen uykusura gəndi yani. Oz betildi. She felt sleepy and went to bed. Onu uykusu geldi və yottı. Uxulaşka yottı. She felt sleepy and went to bed. Lazy. Yal qaldı yani. Sen band da iş. Not liking to work hard or be active. Definition cüde yam qızıq beriliyen. Qatlı işləşini xoğlamaslıq ya ki aktiv bolışını xoğlamaslıq. A lazy child who avoided household chores. Yes, yalqov bolakay uydagi işlədən qoçdı. Avoid digan qoçış. Household chores uy işləri. Famous, maşğur digan. An internationally famous hotel. Xalqara dərəcədə maşğur. Mekmaxana, hotel. Ok, shy. Uyal cheng digan. Feeling nervous or uncomfortable about meeting and talking to people. Zaysh başka adamların uçuratı şaki gəpləşişke ozunu nakulayıq sıqılışı təsvirləşken. Şay, Uyal Çeng. She was too shy to ask for help. Yordam soru eşçin cüddeyem Uyal Çeng edi. Next one. Funny. Causing laughter. Kulgili idi yani. He told a funny story. U kulgili hikaye etdi. Friendly. Dostane. Friendly neighbors. Yani axil dostane qoşun ilə edi maxçı. Grumpy, grumpy deyəni, hər doyum nümədəndir, ayıb topu, pişkayət qılı uğradın ya adam, grumpy deyilədi. Ah, this is not right, this is not good, this is not good, those are the things where grumpy old men say. Our neighbor is a grumpy old man. Biz qoşunumuz, pişkayət qılı uğruçu, qarı adamdır. Ok, this is the end of our vocabulary. Now it's time for you to actually make sentences for him. Two sentences for each word. Let's go. So you have, as I said earlier, five to ten minutes to make sentences and send those ones. Send the ones that are ready to the channel. In the bu har bitta gapke, kitadan gap tuzgan xolatda va unu etamiz. Masalan, funny bozi. You're a funny guy. You're funny. Dit etishimiz kere. Yozganimiz speakingde kamera foyda berada. Okay? Okay, let's get to our next slide. Ok, now it's time for the exercise. Mana sözlərini yəməş qoğaldıq. Yəni, əqsərsəyiz qalışımız gərək. Yəni, əqsərsəyiz qalışımız gərək. Yəni, əqsərsəyiz qalışımız gərək. To be, orqan yəni, bugün qramatikə bu içə. Birincisi, mənə qiyinçilik təqdirmə edə yəməkdə mən. Make a sentence. Qarasəyilə, xar bittə qoləməndə tosməyəb xarflanı, xar bittə sözlə çərkəş qalatə kəltirilgən. Yəni, şunu yəni gə, toğrısını yazıb Toğırlar yazıp o işiyle geri. Correct the following sentence. And bir adı bu ise, bitti bitti ya ki, kaçta kısmını hata akıp, yaşarıp koygen içigi, o şey hatanı tap o işiyle geri. Okay? You guys have, let's say, okay, next exercise. Let's go. And bu, olduğun gibi, diyalog bu içi, ha, bir diyalog bu içi masakken huzur, yana devam iken, exercise'larını, answer the following questions. Bu savallı gəndə cavab verəməz. Tərcəməsini etəməm. What's your personality like? Səni, onun qanaqə, xarakteri qanaqə digənə. Və bu, homework sıfatda qaladı. Bizgə, write a paragraph. Homework ki, xəbəqə nələdən ki, çündürəmə. Let's go, next slide. Bu, keyəngə exercise-lə. Dialog bu icə. Mənə bu savallı. Practice answering the following questions with your tutors. You can use the sample answers to come up with your own answer. Bu savallaga endi javob beramiz. Mana sizlarga sample javoblar keltirilgan. Masalan, how do you make new friends? Ikkita javob keltirib qo'ygan. I make new friends at parties. I make friends with all my classmates. Agar sizda sal boshqacharoq javob bo'lsa, bulardan foydalanib o'zingiz javobingizni yozing va o'shani speaking sifatida qoldiring yana. Next one. Bu bu yoqqacha davom etgan. و هموارگ که این تخته لامس. Now let's get to our very first exercise. Very first. این برای این سیگو تامس. 
No, no, no. Next one. This one. Okay. So now it's time for this one. You guys have five minutes. Let's do it. Uh, yeah, this one. 
Okay, guys, you guys have two minutes for this one. Let's go. Okay, good job, guys. I am pretty impressed with your answers. Next slide. Now let's do this one. That's, that's a challenging one. Okay, you guys have up to 10 minutes. Okay, next slide. This one. You guys have three to four minutes. Four or five, let's say. Okay, that's your day to day, five minutes. Okay. Now let's get back to the homework part. Previous slide, you know, this one, next one. Okay guys, I am pretty impressed with your answers. Good job. I can't be more impressed. So here's a homework from our grammar point. Grammar point, that's like a homework. Write 10 sentences using the grammar you learned today. Bugun grammatikada foydalanib, 10 ta gap yozamiz. Ularni va aytib bera oladigan darajada. Describe your best friend. Yes, in Zor or Tom Sha in Stingan, in Yasha, those terms of Tasfer Limas, only Jihat Larane, Ushna Kodam, Shna Kodam, Shna Kazakada, this kind of stuff. Describe your personality, Uzamaze, Tasfer Limas. I'm a happy man, I'm an old man, I'm a grumpy man, I am grumpy, I'm happy, I am fun, I am fun, I'm funny, I'm cool. Let's go. In the Va bu tepadagi dialog bo'yicha ham homework sizlarga Use the following questions as a guideline to form an interesting conversation with your tutor. Feel free to divert from the suggestions if anything interesting comes up. Quyidagi savollarga speaking og'zaki javob beramiz har biriga. How long have you lived in your area? Qancha yashagansan o'zing joyingda? Describe your neighbors. Qo'shnilarni tasvirlaymiz. What do your friends do for a living? Do'stlaring nima qiladi? Do for a living degani what do, you, what do your friends do for a living? Yashash uchun osha nima qiladi? Va etish mumkin, shunchaki student, agar yosh kattaroq bo'lsangiz, ishlaydigan bo'lsangiz, my friend works as an engineer in a huge company. Kompaniyada engineer bo'lib ishlaydi. Bu umuman olganda nima ish bilan shug'ullanadi degani, do for a living. Do you find it hard to move to a new area? Yangi joyga ko'chib o'tishni sen qiyin deb hisoblaysanmi? Osha savolga javob beramiz. No, I don't find it hard to move to a new area. It's completely fine. Mancha umuma qiyinmas, yangi joy ko'chib o'tish ishi mumkin. 5 what do you look for when you make a new when you, when you make new friends? Yangi do'stlar orttirgan paytda sen nima narsalar qidirasan undan yoki nima narsalarga e'tibor qaratasan? Okay? That's it. This is your homework. Wrap up. Next one. Endi mana homeworklar olindi, exercise'larni ko'rdim. Endi mana shu narsalardan qarab chiqamiz. What have learned? Nima o'rgandik bugungi darsda? Agar dars zo'r tugatgan bo'lsangiz, 
Sizler bugün derste How to introduce myself to other people. Ben uzun mu? Başka adamla ya kanak tanıştırışı organdım. My name is this. I'm a student. I go to school to stop. How to use natural day-to-day -day phrases in a conversation. Sen işte her kulli işletilen frazalarını conversation'de, suhbatta e, e, işletişi organdım. Tabi ilerişti. Grammar to be. To be ne organdı grammatikadan. Key vocabulary with over 30 useful words and phrases. Vocabulary 30'dan artık ve yakın 30'ge sözle organdı yenge. Ve key pronunciation. Albatta talaffuzu yukarı derecede organdık. Okay, that's it for today guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. Let's get to our next point. I hope you enjoyed the video. You guys stay tuned. For more videos, just follow us, subscribe, and thank you for tuning in. Hope to see you guys soon.